I'd like to begin by giving an overview of the titles um, that are covered in the study skills collection. So the study skills collection provides you with all the tools you need to study more efficiently and effectively. You'll find something here to support you at every stage of your university journey, whatever issue or hurdle you may be facing. All of these books are very easy to navigate and you, they don't have to be read in full for you to make use of them. So don't feel as though you need to read something from start to finish. Just take a look at the table of contents and you might find that you spot a particular tap chapter which jumps out. It's important to say that these books are not designed for students who are failing. They're designed to give you the knowledge and the skills to become more successful and to take your work to the next level. I'm guessing that a lot of students model through essay writing and revision without really giving a lot of thought to the process. I certainly did when I was at university. So use this as a chance to give yourself a fresh perspective. You'll find that there are lots of resources which go much further than just study skills in this collection. So Be Well, Learn Well is a fab book to start with and it's written by um, an academic at the University of Derby, Gareth Hughes. And this book helps you to understand the connections between your own well-being and your academic performance. The two are very much interrelated. So improving your well-being in itself will have a positive impact on your academic performance and improving the way that you learn will also improve uh, your well-being. And right now it's such a challenging time to be a university student and I think this book is an ideal first port of call. You'll find chapters on avoiding procrastination and how to get work done, maintaining motivation, as well as guidance on how to prepare for exams, presentations, and how to navigate group work. For an alternative approach, you could try checking out Mindfulness for Students by Stella Cottrell. It introduces a wealth of tools and techniques that can be applied to specific study contexts, such as listening in lectures, completing assignments, and preparing for exams. And it shows how mindfulness can be used to help you manage the stresses of student life more effectively. Many books, many students look to our resources when they need help with assignment writing. How to Write Better Essays by Brian Greetham provides a really accessible guide to the whole process of working on an essay. From what to do when you've been set an essay question through to revising and editing your draft. How to Write Your Undergraduate Dissertation by the same author is the ideal book to have at your side when you're working on an independent research project. And we've got other books which help you with other common challenges. Have you ever got to the end of your pile of reading for an assignment, looked at your notes and thought, what now? How do I get from a bunch of notes to a fully polished assignment? If so, you need how to write, how to use your reading in your essays by Jean Godfrey. For me, this was definitely the biggest challenge at university and school and college doesn't really prepare you for this type of work. Pretty much all students will see the words more critical analysis needed in feedback on assignments. Your go to book on this topic should be Critical Thinking Skills by Stella Cottrell. This tells you what critical thinking means and how to apply and demonstrate this in all aspects of your work. From when you're reading material and making notes through to putting forward your ideas and arguments in assignments. If you find that you get consistently uh, lots of feedback which points out mistakes and problems with your writing, you could take a look at Improve Your Grammar. This isn't just your standard guide to grammar, it's specifically written for students and in helpful two-page units shows you how to correct mistakes and write more accurately. There are units on topics like avoiding long and disorganised sentences, which I was definitely guilty of, and the language of argument. Thousands of students have experienced cancel exams and you might be feeling a bit rusty and out of practice when it comes to revision and exam planning. There's a dedicated book to help you through this process. It's called The Exam Skills Handbook by Stella Cottrell. It's really worth spending a bit of time thinking about how you can make the best use of revision time. You might come across some helpful strategies and ideas which make your life easier. Students spend a huge proportion of time at university reading for assignments. It's often the first time you'll have been asked to read full chapters or journal articles. But what should you be looking for when you're reading material? 
Do you need to read everything? How many notes should you make? Our book, Reading at University, has the answers. This will definitely save you time and give you some focus. If you haven't read the right materials and your notes are a mess, then you'll struggle to write a decent essay. So it makes sense to get off to a good start. For some students, public speaking is the most stressful part of a course. We tend not to get much practice at delivering presentations, so it's not surprising that it's a source of anxiety. But it's seriously worth spending some time thinking about how to prepare and deliver effective presentations because it's such an important transferable skill. Lots of the top graduate recruitment schemes will require candidates to give formal presentations as part of the application process. And if you've done a bit of polishing up while you're at university, this will stand you in really good stead. So the key book to turn to here is Presentation Skills for Students by Joan Van Emden and Cindy Becker. If you're embarking on a research project or a dissertation, there are two dedicated books in the collection. The Undergraduate Research Handbook by Gina Whisker and Dissertations and Project Reports by Stella Cottrell. Both provide simple step-by-step -step guides to the complete process, from deciding on and researching a topic through to structuring your ideas and writing up your research. Research projects often make up a substantial proportion of your final degree classification and involve significant independent study, so it's really worth spending time thinking about how to approach it in the right way. You'll probably save yourself time and effort by having a clear plan in place. The final book I'll mention here is called Professional Writing by Sky Marzen. This is quite a unique resource and it will be particularly useful if you're studying business or journalism or thinking about a career in public relations, management or marketing. It shows you how to adjust your style, tone and approach for different documents, including short memos, feature articles, press releases and reports. And it's a really valuable alternative to the books which only consider academic writing and it takes a longer term view. So I hope that's been a useful overview of the key books in the collection. Great. Thank you, Helen, for the overview of the collection. Uh, we're going to move now to Etienne, who's going to give us an overview of the BibliU platform. Great. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, uh, Helen, for the introduction to the, to the collection. So I'm uh, Etienne. I'm a project manager, part of the customer success team at uh, BibliU. And uh, as such, I work with um, dozens of universities here in the UK, but also in mainland Europe and North Africa to uh, provide um, digital access to, to, to eBooks and make sure students have the best um, resources for effective learning digitally. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you um, some slides and also introduce you to the, to the app and how to use it in the context of the study skills uh, books that uh, Helen has just presented. Great, so first of all, kind of a quick to uh, BibliU, so we are an edtech uh, business and our platform kind of aims to fill the gap in e-learning between the publishers and universities, institutions, libraries, and essentially provide students with the best possible learning experience through digital uh, content. And we do so by providing a bunch of uh, really useful features for, for studying, uh, from uh, downloading books offline to searching through your entire collection, highlighting, uh, annotating um, inside the book and um, providing equity in, in the way people, uh, students can learn through um, some accessibility features that we'll, I will detail uh, in a moment. But over the years, we've helped thousands of students in over 130 universities and we're really proud to have Derby as a partner universities for, for this program. But first things first, how do we access the great collection that Helen has just introduced? So I'm going to show you Kind of the easiest ways to to uh, to access the collection. So the, the the easier way is to go through the LibGuides website. So I'm just going to click on this, and this will give you some first a kind of introduction about Biblio, some tips about online learning, and then at the bottom of the screen, you will get a link to um, all the all the books that uh, are in the collection and that have been referenced by uh, Helen. So if you just click on it. You should have direct access to it, or you would be prompted to um, to log in directly uh, with your um, Derby University credentials. Great. So that's kind of the, the first way you can access these books. The second way 
is to do so through the Derby library login. Um, so you'd go to the website, you can see the hyperlink here, and you just search for the, the title of the book, and then you'd be able to access it by clicking on the green button here. Fairly easy as well, but I think the, the LibGuys is probably your, your best bet to find the collection um, in a few steps. And finally, you can also access Bibliu directly through our app, so in the browser, or if you have downloaded it. Again, it's very, very simple. You go to bibliu.com, and then you select University of Derby, and then you will go through the usual authentication system that you go through um, at, uh, at Derby. Great, so now I'm going to hop directly into the platform to show you how it works and how to make the best out of the great books from the Study Skills Collection and how to study more um, effectively. So this is what you see the moment you get into the Bibliu uh, platform. So what we see at the top here is what we call a bookshelf. So these are all the books you have uh, liked. Uh, so if you just click on the hard button here, it will just appear directly into your, um, your favorite books. Then at the bottom here, you see all the books you have available to you uh, from your institution. So you can search more widely. And then finally, something that's quite important here is if you scan the QR code, you'll be, you'll be redirected to a link to download uh, our app, a standalone app. And the experience in the standalone app, in the Bibliu app, is pretty much the same as you can see in the browser. The only difference is that you can, on top of having this like button here, you also have a download button. And what that means is that you'll be able to download the book so that you can read it offline. So if you're ever on a plane again, or if you're somewhere where there's no internet, that's really, really handy. Um, something else I want to, to mention here is that um, it doesn't matter if you log in on your laptop, the app, um, through your mobile phone, your tablet, everything is synced together. So uh, all the annotations you'll make, and I'll show you uh, how to do that in, in a moment, uh, all the comments you make, all the books you have, that will be synced across all the devices, so there's no need to worry here. Great, so now let me hop into one of the books from uh, the Study Skills Collection, so how to write this, and I'll show you kind of how to, um, in practice, how to, how to use the reader for um, effective. And I'll show you a bunch of features that shows in the way, the way how Bibliu accommodates a variety of um, study styles so that we can really you know, be helpful for every student. Great, so the first thing to uh, notice is that um, I've been redirected directly to the last place where I consulted the book. So that's very handy, again, that's synced across all devices. Um, and if you want to refer to the chapters that Helen was just mentioning, you can just hop here and you'll see all the table of contents for the chapters and subchapters and so on. And if you click on any of the chapters, you'll be directed directly, directly to it. Great, so now one of the most useful uh, features that we have is the highlight function. Fairly simple, you just highlight a bit of the text. There you go, you can color code it in any kind of way. And then you can associate notes, so note taking as practice, for example. And the way it works, and the reason why it's really useful, is that it then works as a sort of bookmark inside of, the, uh, inside of your book. And it's a bookmark that you can actually search. So uh, if you hop to the annotation tab here, you will see all the annotations are made in this book and everything that I, I, I wrote on top of it. So that, that's really handy to kind of keep tabs of what is really useful to you inside of the book uh, when you don't need to read the entire collection, as Helen mentioned, but really pinpoint exactly what you need. And then you can search from within the annotations um, by color code. For example, I know that when I was a student, I used to the color code in a specific way, uh, depending on what was interesting or important. So you can filter by this. Or you can also filter by uh, either what is in um, the notes you took or in the, con in the content, uh, in the text you've, you've highlighted. Other bits of um, elements here, you can, um, you can share this uh, this uh, passage, for example, here directly with, let's say if you want to share this with another student from your course and say, oh, this is interesting, you can just um, generate the link and share, it will take you directly to, to this page. Uh, you can also copy, you can copy here. Um, and another thing you can do is print parts of the book. So you can either copy 
both is parts of the book, not the entirety of the books for digital rights management issues. You can you have a certain allowance of the book in copy or print, but it's also really useful to uh, you know again pinpoint the parts of the book that are really relevant to you. And if you want to print or save as a PDF, you can also do do so. Great. Um, another thing that we can see here that's quite useful if you ever need to reference this book, you know, for one of your essays or something, you can open the reference here and just simply copy the, the style of uh, referencing that you use at university and use it for your bibliography, for, for example. Great. Now I'm going to talk a bit more about our accessibility features and all the, the features that make our platform kind of an equitable place for everyone to learn you know, regardless of your, your study needs. So if you hop onto the settings tab here, you can make the text bigger or smaller. It just resizes the window. You can change it to flux mode for more comfortable reading, night mode. That's, I know that's what I use all the time on all my devices. I think it's a lot more uh, easy to read through a lot of text when it's, when it's like this. And you can even use custom colors. So, you know, whichever kind of weird combination of colors you want to use, you can do that. That's entirely up to you. Great. Another thing I think is really, really good in terms of uh, accessibility and, and making sure you you effectively go through a lot of text quite quickly is the speed reader here. So you can select the words per minute you want you to read out and just press play. And you can just adjust it. I think it's uh, for me it's uh, it's a very kind of good way to get through a lot of uh, text and make sure I have uh, integrated it fully. Um, if you want to do the, ex the experiment, uh, I know that JFK was a big fan of this type of reading. He went up to 1,200 words per minute. We can't go that fast, but that's that's quite quite a feat, definitely quite a feat. And finally, if you prefer having your text narrated to you, you go onto the little speech icon here. And then you can press play, you can also select a variety of accents and different types of speed for text to speech. Great, so that's kind of the main functionalities inside inside the reader, inside the book. One thing I want to mention is the search function is also quite quite handy. So if you go here directly, you can type, let's say, presentation skills. And what what we like to call it, it's like a Google Google-like um, search functions so it will give you all the most relevant book titles for uh, that you have access to for uh, your your career you can search from within your books or only within your favorite books the one with the little house and then it will also show you from inside the content of the books you have access to um, what uh, what is the most relevant uh, to this query and not only it will show, show through content but also through figures so that's really useful. And the reason why it's useful is that it really allows you to expand the scope of your um, of your of your you know studies and, and your new reading list with content that's been curated and pre-approved by your um, academics. So definitely a very handy feature. And a couple of things before before I wrap up. Um, if you want to consult uh, kind of our roadmap, see what's coming up, what we are gathering feedback on what's in development and what's been released, just hop onto the little rocket icon that I've, I've clicked on. You can also submit ideas. We're always really keen to hear directly from students what they want to see in the in the reader in our platform to make it even better for, for studying. And finally, if you have, if you're stuck at any point in time, just click on the help button here. You can search through help articles or contact our support team directly if you have any question at all. And so that's it for me. That's the, the Biblio platform. Um, so thanks, thanks everyone. And yeah, I look forward to having you use uh, our platform for the Study Skills collection. Brilliant. Thanks, Etienne. That was a great overview of the platform there. I was particularly struck by how impressive the accessibility features are uh, on the platform, uh, particularly things like text to speech, um, and of course, being able to change the, the, the color of the background uh, is very important as well. So I think that they're, they're really great features. Um, I think the other thing uh, 
that struck me uh, is just how portable the collection is uh, in the sense that, you know, you can access this content anywhere um, on any device. So you can access it on your phone, you can access it on your, your laptop or your tablet. Um, there's no limitation on how many times you access this content. Um, as many as many people can access it all at once because we have institution-wide access. Um, so I think having that portability and I think being able to have that level of access is really important, uh, especially um, in the world that we live in right now, uh, where remote access uh, to resources is more important than ever before. Um, and I think it's great that you know a collection like this with this functionality can really support um, students being able to um, get hold of their resources and their reading whenever they need it. Would it be possible for you to give us a quick overview of how you go about uh, downloading a book? Uh, so, you know, if you don't want to read online, but you want to download the book and then do some offline reading later on. Yeah, absolutely. So to do that, you'd go, um, you'd need to download the BBLU app. So you can either go do this by scanning the QR code that is on the readers at the bottom of the page, or you go to your usual app store uh, and you can download the BBLU app. And then you'll have essentially all the books I have access to in your collection. And uh, you just uh, you can you can simply click on um, on the download button uh, so that you can read it offline for you know whenever whenever you want um, with with no limitation. That's great. Thank you, Etienne. Um, the next question would be for Helen. Um, obviously, we have fourteen titles in this collection. I was just curious uh, what you would say would be the the sort of the standout features or the uh, the standout um, qualities of this collection that that. Yeah, you would like to tell us about. I think probably the book I would start with and want to turn back to most often would be the first one I mentioned. So the Be Well, Learn Well, because I think until recently um, we hadn't really covered this kind of angle of like student well-being in a lot of our books, and actually. It's, it's pretty fundamental. It, it really makes sense that unless um, you're feeling quite good within yourself, then, um, you know, your study is not going to be uh, the best it can be. So it really makes sense to think about giving yourself the tools to manage university life more effectively, like especially at the moment when people have got so many more um, challenges than usual to contend with. Um, and as I said, I think it deals with a lot of those skills which maybe aren't covered in the kind of standard book, say, on essay writing and reading and making notes, which is kind of how to stay on top of like your studies. Um, you know, there are so many distractions when you're studying online it's the place where everyone is for working and socializing and doing everything so it gives you some really good tools for how to kind of maintain your focus get stuff done um, and try and maintain a, a kind of positive outlook and there are also some really valuable chapters on like looking ahead to the future and kind of thinking about what you want to achieve um, after university and yeah Gareth Hughes the author is just fantastic you know he realizes that that's can be a stressful thing for some students a lot of students are really excited and looking forward to graduation um, but for other people it's you know a big transition and Whatever your starting point, I think this book will help you kind of feel more focused and feel more prepared, really. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much for coming in today. Um, really appreciate you, you all taking the time to come in and talk to us and, and talk us through uh, this really important collection of titles that we have that are really key for being able to support students in those developing those key study skills. Um, and of course, having a platform like to host them on like BibliU um, with all those accessibility features and learning tools are really, really um, fantastic and, and a huge support. Um, so yes, th thank you so much for coming in. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there for today.